welcome back to the channel welcome back to many Spanks. my name is Mel. i hope you guys are all very well it's been quite a while since i've uploaded my last video but today you're actually going to get one early video for this week until my march uploads so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video this will be a one card one sketch challenge hosted by the lovely lisa who's crafting diva so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you liked today's video then please do give this video a like comment and a subscribe and let's get into the video so hi everyone and welcome to today's video welcome back to the channel if you're new here thank you so much for subscribing hope you guys are all very well and for those who are long-term subscribers thank you so much for your support i really really appreciate it so today i'm actually uploading this video on february 29th and i'm actually going to be giving you two cards in this video one for the last challenge for lisa's um, one sketch one card challenge so i'll be doing last month which was in january and also be doing this month which is for february as well so um let me start with the first card so what i'll do is i'll put the sketch in the left hand corner of the screen or will actually fit on the video and it'll show you the sketch that i've actually used i actually show you the collection that i'm actually using as well so the collection that i'm actually using for both cards is this collection here which is from simple stories i'll just i'll also show you the sentiments that i've used as well so this is the collection that i have used which is by simple stories it is the simply vintage love story it's really really beautiful it's for valentine's but you can actually probably use this for spring or summer cards it's really really pretty um i actually got some of the die cuts as well which i'll put on the screen too this is kind of like a little bit of a browse of what colors are on this so there's lots of like beiges lots of like greens pinks um some reds as well so that's a bit of a cutting that i have use lots of florals as well lots of um stripes diagonal stripes um again lots of gorgeous patterns which i really really love so this is the collection that i've been using and then the sentiments that i've been using are these ones so these are from the stamp market and um, so i normally get these from dies to die for uh, what i'll do is i'll link the products in the description box below and what i'll also do is i'll link all the other youtube channels that are taking part in the one sketch one card challenge as well so these are the sentiments i'm using these are like foiled and um, gold sentiments it's just kind of a variety so it's like hey hello thank you um thinking of you happy birthday congrats and i don't know how many die cuts there actually are oh yes there's 33 pieces so again i'll link the products below as well for you guys so for the first sketch it was um i think it was stripes going along the horizon or horizontally on a card and then it had a horizontal panel on the left hand side as well so this is the card that i have created so there we go so it basically has the horizontal stripes that are going down the card here so what i've actually done is i've actually just cut um the papers from that collection i think i've done them two inches two inches by i think by five i'm just getting a ruler out so i can actually measure it for you but i think it is five inches across because i think that the card is five by seven okay so it's four by two inches so this is a really pretty um, patterns that are actually on here. So you've got, again, the horizontal stripes that are going absolutely down the card. And then you have the rectangle and um, panel here on the left-hand side as well. So what I've actually done is I've put some florals in the middle here. And I've just kind of built up the collage here in the centre of the card. And then I've put the foil on the card as well. Again, I'll put the image of the sketch on the left-hand side of the screen or where it'll fit on the video. But as you can tell, I'm trying to make all the cards kind of merge together and have like one panel on the side here, which actually like stands out. So again, we've got the horizontal stripes on um, just going down the card. And then we've got the rectangle um, rectangle on this side here on the left hand side as well, just to kind of break up the colours. Because I've used quite a lot of pastel colours. There's a lots of blues, lots of pinks and lots of greens. So you've got the butterfly here. We've got the spotted... Um, paper here and then we've got this one with the florals and i'll try to kind of break it down with a little bit of the darker colors as well so we've got this black background with the lovely um red roses and then i've used some of the die cuts from 
the die cuts from the same collection as well so we've got this rose here got this lovely like postage stamp and then we've got some of the white and green flowers here as well i've added the green heart here and then i've actually added some um enamel like jewels as well um just on this side as well i thought i'd put one on this side but i've actually just put them in the top left corner i've just added the sentiment here this is for my friend so that is a january's card so i just thought i'd give you an actual um double card whammy in this video so that is card that is the card for january the one for february which i'll show you now again i'll put the sketch on the left hand side of the screen so i'll show you the um card that i've actually made again i've just used the same collection so here's the one here so again it has the panel here so on the sketch it actually has a large rectangle here and then a circle and it has a banner so what i've done is i've actually designed it a little bit just a little bit more differently but again using the sketch as inspiration so again i've put the rectangle on the main cover of the card i've then put the banner here but i've actually cut it at an angle rather than doing the banner tails here so i've just done it at an angle then i've taken one of the um, larger die cuts i'll put it in the center of the rectangular panel and then i've added the sentiment that says congrats to you as this gorgeous um, red heart here and then this green butterfly i've just added some of the jewels here because as you guys know i love enamel jewels or enamel dots so i just thought actually with the green foiling of the sentiments and also with the um, enamel jewels that are actually kind of matched together so i've tried to kind to keep them in sync with each other especially with the two especially with the two cards and the two different sketches and also with the collection as well so those are two of the cards this is for january and this one's february so i hope you guys have enjoyed the cards that i've showed you in this video i'll put the names of the items and the products that i have mentioned i'll also um leave the youtube links who are joining part in this collab so i hope you guys will go over and subscribe to them please go over to lisa's channel who is hosting in the one card one sketch challenge i hope you guys will join in at home I hope you guys will use the hashtag i'll put the hashtag in the title as well and also put it along the screen too i hope you guys have a gorgeous day and i'll see you guys in my next video